Howdy y'all, Aaron here with GrowLawnUglyWeeds.com. Today I'm coming to you from my lawn, Burleson, Texas. It's May 30th, May 31st maybe, I don't know. It's a Tuesday. So today I'm looking for St. Augustine Decline in my yard. Actually I've known him had this for over a year. And here's what it looks like right here. I'm doing this one handed. My trusty vide videographer is on a plane trip to San Francisco right now. She's got some business there. So hold on. Come on. I'm going to pull it off. Let's see. Well, it's not showing up in the video. I'll take a picture of it and uh, put that right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out some spots. I'm gonna put this St. Augustine here. This is Raleigh St. Augustine. I got this from Home Depot in Burleson on Sunday. So if you're gonna go get some grass, you better gotta do it earlier or it'll be gone. And this is this grass is in the middle of the pallet, so it's not looking too handsome. That's okay, we'll, we'll get it back to life. So how, how you cure St. Augustine decline is you plug in a variety of St. Augustine that is resistant to St. Augustine decline. And that's Raleigh, Seville, Floritam, Marishade, and Delmar, I believe, are the ones that are resistant to it. Now, resistant doesn't mean proof. It just means that it's unlikely to get it, but it's not impossible for that these grasses to get St. Augustine to climb. And I got this from mowing equipment or aeration equipment or foot traffic or something. Something brought this into my yard and, and I don't know what variety of St. Augustine I have. Obviously it's not Raleigh or I probably wouldn't have this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in some these squares and well, I'm just gonna cut out a spot to put in a full square and then I'm gonna use uh, some smaller pieces to put out in the yard. And I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put down the camera and knock that out. So stay tuned. <laughs> 